Since we're uh, going to the trouble of rebuilding the engine, we'll be putting in a new oil pump as well. Now the new oil pump doesn't have the pickup screen on it, so you have to take, use that from the old pump. And the little drive hub for the for the tack drive uh, is too long on the new pumps, so you can either shorten it off or uh, switch the old one, the one from the old pump over. Uh, the new pumps have a slightly larger shaft by about six or seven thousandths of an inch. Not very much, but it makes it so you have to drill the old shaft out. Uh, kind of a toss up which way you go. next step will be to install the cylinder head and before I do that I'm going to put a little drop oil on top of each piston because uh, otherwise it's going to be a pretty dry startup. Make sure there's a little something in there to lubricate the rings until the engine starts pumping oil up and everything good. We're going to put our head gasket on. Oftentimes they have them marked top and bottom. This one isn't marked. So you just line all the cylinders so all the holes in. Yeah, okay. There's only one way it can go. That's the only way that this uh, water jacket holds over. Carefully align the uh, bolts with the holes in the gasket. Thread in dowels to do that to help align that, but uh, it means you got to lift the head a lot higher, and you can end up scratching the the uh, ceiling surface of the head too with the dowels. So uh, it's not too hard to get things lined up. You can just work very carefully. There's one long bolt that goes down through the center post of your rocker arms. Now you want to be careful, you make sure that you get the proper washers back on these. These don't use a uh, lock washer, they use a grade 8 flat washer. They're uh, uh, an extra hard washer specifically for this purpose to uh, put the right pressure on the head to make everything seal. Torque specs for this head call for 70 to 75, so again we'll do that in two steps, or well, kind of three really. I just tighten them all finger tight, and uh, so now uh, we use the torque wrench and uh, bring them all to 40 foot pounds, and then the next step, around, probably bring them right to 75. Uh, you want to start in the middle and work out in a circular fashion until you get to the outside end. That ensures that you get a good even seal all the way across and uh, that you don't crack the head. So, set our torque wrench. <laughs> 